Greetings my friends. This is Maryland, continuing my series of videos on the game Spectacle of Perspicuity. I will now do Relier Turn 5. We'll continue from my s actual orders that I sent to Lama Server. We have a couple of expansion battles. First up, in the Sea of Gore. Ah, that was an expensive one, but it worked. And at this point in time, with the cheap cost of my troops, that's acceptable to me. And my second battle, in unsuccessful. That happens. Sometimes you try your best. Let's watch and see what happened in the two battles. First, the Sea of Gore. Alright, I'll pause briefly and we can look over my layout. I have my Mind Lord at the back. He's set to do some enslavement. He's got a couple of Gibbidae set to blast away with their paralyzing mind blasts. In the front, I have two slightly staggered squads of Lobos with a little bit of Polypel spawn, and a flanking squad, a very small one, of Slave Guardians. Let's see how it works out. This is a tough fight. I'm dealing with significant numbers of Triton Troopers with poison, heavy armor, or relatively heavy armor and shields, and as well some shark knights. They do a lot of damage. So far so good. Uh, the flankers did not get to the rear. Not quite what we wanted, but that's acceptable. Losses are heavy, but it's coming. We can see that we're losing a lot of lobos. It's important to note that Lobos are morale 50. They'll keep fighting indefinitely. We're not having much success with enslavements, but some paralyzes, those will help. The Shark Knights are gone. And some of the opponents are retreating. My Slave Guardians are holding up quite well. A much more substantial paralyze. And we've won. All but one. Let's look at the second battle in the Sea of Span. This one did not go well, so we'll have to rebuild those forces. But perhaps with luck. So we've got the Bull and Horns formation. Flankers are coming. Are they going to make it? No, my, f my front formation of amphibious troops was too small. The result is they weren't able to hold the line. And this is why the fight went wrong. But sometimes it's best to keep trying, even if you fail. I'm going to speed this up to see how it develops. Uh, sadly, none of the independents ran away. So let's take a look and see what I'm going to do next. Well, I'm going to send everybody to take what's left of that one in the Sea of Span that we failed to get. So some reinforcements coming in from over here in number 7, the Sunken Sea. You can see my scout is going to come along and provide some smiting assistance. Got a pretty small squad of uh, Tritons. Another good sized squad of Tritons coming in. And I've set up, we'll use the Y key hotkey to look at all the armies moving into this location. So we've got a very different setup. We've actually had to use some um, Trident carrying Tritons in the front with the one enslaved Triton trooper that survived. We still only have the two Gibbidae, but perhaps with the addition of two small flanking squads and holding and letting the Gibbidae and Mind Lord do some more work, we'll take it. At this point, momentum is important to maintain. Now, for recruitment, I've produced a commander here because extra independent commanders are always very helpful. And this one in 20, producing another set of the shielded uh, Triton Guards, which are a solid unit. And in this one, I'm sorry, wrong click. In here in 38, I am producing, I have commanders coming, so I'm producing the one Triton Trooper I can afford. I'm not going to do Shark Knights at this time, a bit too expensive, and one isn't enough to matter, and fill it up with Triton Guards. So I'm continually bolstering my expansion forces with independence because they fit very well with what I'm using. Back at home, I'm bringing along the rest of the Lobos I bought and some more Slave Guardians with um, Tridents. 
and a few polypel spawn. An Ableth is going to carry them along. So they're getting in place so that we can see that we can put the squeeze on this province from both directions. And that will be very helpful. So that's my intention. For recruitment back at home, I'm making another mother and my favorite choices of classic recruitments. I'm not doing any Lobos at this time since there are no Aboleths or Vine Lords to bring them along. My gold is starting to build up. Pretty soon I'm going to start building forts. And overall, oops, I see the error. Once again, I missed the taxes. Well, we've already discussed that. It's going to carry on and be a, a thorn in my side for a fair number of the early turns. I could have had a better expansion if I hadn't made that error. Although I suppose you could argue that this did give me my first fort and some of my infrastructure improvements early. And that's it for the game for this turn. Have a good one, and I hope to see you all in game. Goodbye, my friends.